If you have these laying around your house, then you've got yourself some potential for some amazing high-end Christmas decor. You can definitely make some incredible Christmas decor that looks high-end, is very budget-friendly, and best of all, no one would even know. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful garland and an ornament. And without any further ado, let's get started. I began this project by cutting my rolls of toilet paper into small rings. I used a total of two rolls for this project, but you can also use an empty paper towel roll as an alternative. Then I grabbed some yarn that I had stashed away along with this small IKEA cutting board I had bought on clearance and planned to use for a future project. I used a cutting board to wrap my yarn around the long side of it, though I later realized that that was too long and I wrapped it around the shortest side after. I ended up wrapping it around 20 times to get the final look. Next, I pulled the yarn off the cutting board and cut one whole side of the loop I had created. This was to quickly create the strands of yarn needed for our next step. To create the brim of our little winter hat, all you have to do is take a piece of yarn, fold it in half, and pull the loop through the center of the ring. Then you pull the tail of the yarn through the loop and tighten it, keeping all of the yarn tails on the side where the loop of the yarn is. It should look something like this. And to finish this part, you'll just repeat these same steps until the entire brim is covered. Then I pulled all of the tails in through the hole and onto the other side, leaving a little knotted area towards the inner bottom part of the brim. This is where you can really start to see it take shape. Next, I used some cotton makeup rounds to fill in my winter hats before tying them off at the top. This helps them keep their shape, but you can also use cotton balls or any other filler that you may already have. I just wanted to use what I had on hand rather than buying something else at the store. And to tie off the top, I just used a piece of the same yarn I used to create the rim. Then I cut the little poofy top to the length and shape that I wanted. And just like that, you have yourself a cute little winter hat that I honestly think you can do so many things with, even leave as is if you wanted to. But I already had something else planned. I decided I wanted to turn these into a cute garland and I intended to use some jute twine and my yarn needle to string some wooden beads in between my winter hat, only to find that the eye to my yarn needle was way too big. That was a complete oversight on my part, but I wanted to show you the reality because sometimes you just get so caught up in the project that you miss the tiny details. Has that ever happened to you? Leave me a comment below. Thankfully, this was an easy fix. The holes in my wood beads were just large enough to string them without the yarn needle, so I just did that. I used a total of 11 beads, six small, four medium, and one large in between each section, but you can use whatever combination and number of beads you'd like to get the look that you're going for. Then I used my yarn needle to pass my jute twine through one of my winter hats and I repeated the same steps until I used all but one of the winter hat. I saved that one to show you how you can turn that into an adorable little ornament. Now just a quick tip, if your twine becomes frayed, wrap a small piece of tape around the edge to create a point. This will help make it easier to pass the twine through the hole of your bead. You can also use some hot glue or another adhesive, but if you do use hot glue, please be careful not to burn your fingers. If the temperature is high enough, you can really hurt yourself, so just be careful. To finish the ends, I just knotted them with a small loop so that I could have the option to hang my garland. But you can always make some tassels if you prefer to drape your garland over some decor pieces instead. I also added a dab of hot glue at the end of each section of beads because I forgot to knot the ends before passing my little winter hats through them. This was just to prevent the beads from sliding too much, so it really is optional. It was actually at this time that I also noticed I missed a few beads in a section, but that was another easy fix. I just cut the twine, added the beads, knotted the twine again, and hid the knot inside one of the beads. I think this garland turned out really great, and you'd never even guess it was made using empty toilet paper rolls. What do you think? Now making this winter hat ornament was very similar. I ran some jute twine through the middle of the hat and then tied it in a knot at the top to hide the twine. Then I just strung both pieces of twine through the wooden beads. I used a large, medium, and small one along the top of the pom-pom. This time I did add a knot in between each bead to give it more texture and then I just left a loop at the top so it could be used to hang it in a tree. It really is super simple but versatile. You can even place it on a bottle of champagne or wine when giving a gift to give it that extra special touch. Be sure to take a look at this next video over here. I'm Ellie Lee with Ellie Lee Designs and until the next one, bye.